Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It's Dr. Cruz, author of Maximize Your Superpowers. So I want to encourage you this morning to remember the importance of, you know, protecting your peace. Protect your peace by spending quality time in the morning, just five or 10 minutes. It doesn't take an hour. It doesn't take, you know, a retreat. <laughs> you know, you can go on a retreat if you want. But in the morning, every morning, I want to encourage you to wake up and spend quality time. Even before you're consciously, 100% consciously awake, as you're subconsciously awaking and you're in that, you know, that, that middle state between waking up and still sleep, that's the ideal time. That's the ideal time to spend a moment, to spend a moment in spiritual reflection and visualization for your future for the day that's going to approach you or that you're going to approach it's really really critical that you protect your peace because as soon as you get up you become vulnerable to energy and people and events things that you can't control but the one thing that you truly truly can control is your your inner peace protecting your peace that's what you can control but it's got to start listen to me listen to me very carefully it has got to start before you get out of that bed because as soon and even before you pick up the telephone and you start checking social media it has to start before that okay so protect your peace by spending quality time in self-reflection and prayer and um, visualization I do it every morning. I do it every morning. And there are forces immediately in my life, as soon as I leave that house, that irritate me. Or they try to. They don't. Like like traffic, right? There's a lot of people that get very irritated by traffic. And you got to be awakened, right? You got to be awakened to what's actually happening, right? So you got to be awakened to the fact that, listen, I need to be alert. I need to be here. I need to be centered. You have to get centered, because if you're not centered, then you haven't done the work, right? You haven't spent that quality time in self-reflection and prayer and spiritual growth before you wake up, before you get out of bed. So do that so that you stay centered, so that when you get up and whatever energy's in your home, whatever energy's on the phone when someone calls you, whatever energy hits you as soon as you walk outside your apartment door, your house, or you get into the garage, you get on the road, you get to work, there's things that's going to be trying to negatively affect you and you can't let it happen. You cannot let it happen. And the way you don't do it from a place of willpower, that's not how you protect your peace. You don't protect your peace from willpower. You protect your peace from spiritual power. Okay. This is very, very critical to you pursuing the life that you want to live. Just a peaceful, ordinary life. It starts in here. Okay? We think if we make more money, if we get the job that we want, if we fulfill our purpose in life, if we um, become more educated, if I help more people, if I smoke one more blunt, if I drink one more alcohol drink, if I, um, you know, go cheat on my significant other, that, that I'll find some peace in life, you know, but it, it doesn't happen that way. It doesn't matter how many degrees you have. It doesn't matter what kind of job you have. It doesn't matter the contribution you give. That's the best thing, right? The contribution you give to society. Even if you're aligned with your contribution, with your calling in life, if you don't have inner peace, life can knock you off your, off your kilter. It can knock you down. Because something in life is always going to try to interfere with the path that you're on. So number one, when you get inner peace, when you spend that quality time, let me tell you what you get, right? You eventually, it evolves, right? You get like this, this invisible kind of protective shield around you. You walk in a shield where things that used to irritate you, it used to catch your attention, you walk right by that thing. And in fact, you pray for it. You be like, Lord, I see it. You better get that. That thing needs your help right there. Whether it's an angry person, whether it's a, somebody on the road, whether it's a boss that's, you know, being rude and mean and authoritative and disrespectful or whatever. 
right? You just walk right back, you know, right by. You say, you know, whatever you say to it, you know what I mean? But you tell the Lord, God, that's your job right there. I'm going to keep on moving because you're not affected anymore because you've done your spiritual work to stay centered. Let me tell you something. That's the most freeing thing. When you want, you want to talk about some freedom, spiritual freedom is where it's at, where nothing bothers you. Or, you know, we're not perfect, so things do bother us. But predominantly, nothing bothers you because you have protected your peace. I'm trying to tell y'all the secret to life right now, okay? Additionally, when you have spiritual peace and when you are censured, you can be alone and not feel lonely. You can be alone and not feel lonely. Let me tell you something. When you can be alone in life, which is you and your spirit, and not feel lonely, you know you've won. That's the secret to life. Everything else is additional. Everything else is cake. The key is can I sit with myself and be alone, not have friends, not have family, be confused about my vision in life, be trying to do something bigger, better, and even at my worst, in the midst of all my problems, in the midst of my confusion, in the midst of my desperation, in the midst of everything going on, even in the midst of my loneliness, can I surrender that loneliness to my higher power and learn to be okay with being by myself? Because people who are by themselves and not lonely, they know they're truly not by themselves. They are connected to their God to their higher power, to their creator. And the other key to life is you are happiest and you are most fulfilled when you have that connection because that's the connection of the divine. Everything else we do here on earth is superficial, truly. If it doesn't come from that connection, it's superficial. Even your vows, all right? So today, please, even if you've already gotten up, Go to the bathroom, go to your car, go somewhere quiet and spend five minutes in just self-reflection. Feel what your body is feeling. Where is your tension? What is your body communicating? And then talk to your creator, whatever that is. And if you don't think you have a creator, you need to get off my Instagram because you're crazy. <laughs> something created you, right? Something, something magical and powerful allowed you to be created from an embryo, from an egg and a sperm. If you don't think something stronger and bigger and more powerful, you, more powerful than you allowed that to happen, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, honey. <laughs> All right, you guys have a nice day. It's Dr. Cruz, author of Maximize Your Superpowers. You gotta get in touch with your superpowers to maximize this life, okay? Because if you're doing it, on this level, you're not going to get very far. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.